Boys, they are still bringing brand new cards in the game all the way in June. We just got our first Johnny Unitas of the entire Madden 24 cycle in June, which is absolutely insane to think about. He is a big name card. I don't know why they've been holding out so long, but at the end of the day, he is finally here. This card is very, very weird ability-wise, I will say. He is also very cheap because it is free Ultimate Legend Day. He is under 400k already, and the card just came out an hour ago. Let's take a look at him and get some gameplay. Guys, I think a big reason why he's also cheap, despite the free legend weekend, they gave him generic one. If you guys do not know what generic one is, it is probably, I would say, known as the worst release in the game. Personally, I would say it is the worst. If you, I, I say it all the time. If you've watched one of my videos when I've done a quarterback gameplay with somebody with this release, if you go to franchise mode and you take, pick the most random position ever, a left outside linebacker or a left guard, literally change them to a quarterback, they will have generic one release. It's, it's literally, I don't, I don't even understand it, but it looks like they had an idea with this card. They kind of made him a running quarterback, and it looks like they want you to run the ball with him crazy. He has tank built in as an ability. He also gets Truz as his one AP ability all the way over here, and then also you get run and gun it for zero. You can go ahead and get master attack, but I wanted to soup him up. If I'm going to do a Johnny U video, and he doesn't come with the best release in the game, I threw on eight AP, so I made sure to use the run and gun as well. We got past lead elite. We got our Truz. Haro Master, Gunser, Gifter, literally, we we souped him up. The one thing that does suck, if he got angry runs right here to make him a super, like, running quarterback, that would have been amazing, but at the end of the day, it's hard. It's hard if you want to pass the ball with this card because of that release, but I think if you are running style quarterback, it's one of the best cards in the game to do so. Let's take him to game and see how he plays. Boys, Johnny U in the top three. Like I said, the first time I've used the Johnny U, I don't even, did he get a card last year? I can't remember. I remember, I think it was two years ago when he got like a playoff card I remember using. I don't know. I can't remember. His cards haven't been super, super memorable. And we're getting the ball first. Hey, let's go take over MNT Bank, baby. Like I said, it looks like they want you to run the ball with this card. So that's what we're going to do on the first play of the game, boys. We're pulling this all the way. I think we're going to be able to get a round two. And Johnny Yu, the one thing that does suck, that despite having Truss, despite having Tank, we're not going to break tackles because Ultimate Legends don't get starting on X-Factors. Angry Runs would have made this card like one of the best scrambling quarterbacks in the game. Kind of like a Chad Powers, you know? I understand making him a running quarter. I just don't understand the generic one. I don't know. Like I said, it won't be bad if you're playing like a four down lineman set, but if you're playing a guy running the heavy A gap blitz, the meta blitzes, it's not going to be the most fun experience in the world. But anytime I see an open lane with Johnny, I'm taking off. You guys already know the deal. Come on, man. We got trust. I'm running around like a madman. It's good seeing a bunch of new names in the game, though. Like, we just got Brady all the way at the end of May. We're getting Johnny Yu. I'm trying to think. Of, I think we, I swear we've gotten more, like, Brandon Jacobs. We're getting a lot of new names all the way at the end of the year, which is kind of crazy. You can see Johnny Yu all the way to our guy, Marvin Harrison. Breaking tackles with that yak him up, dude. This is way too fun right now. Honestly, that release didn't look too bad. I, I haven't used this release since the beginning of the game. I think the let oh, no, no. Derrick Henry first got this on his quarterback Christmas card, and it was very bad. It was a Derrick Henry quarterback card that went for, like, it was very cheap. It was very cheap. But at the end of the day, I don't, I don't they haven't gave a card like this in a while, and I thought we were about to break it with the tank or something like that. That would have been crazy. So I truly don't know how bad, bad it is. It's just so hard going from traditional four to anything, really. But you'll be fine, dude. I'm telling you, in most lobbies, you're going to be fine running this. And I think we're just going to dump it down, hopefully. Come on, man. We need to adjust right there, William. All right, we were just at the goal line, basically. Now we're at a third and 18, looking from the outside in. And actually, I think we can get this down. Oh, man. No KO on a mid... No mid-zone KO or deep zone on that wind field is crazy. And you can see our guy, Marvin. We convert, baby. Come on, man. That's the wrong Marvin in the Colts unis. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Johnny, you look solid. I will say it. my timing did feel a little bit weird on that. You can see it wasn't the fastest, but we scored. That's all that matters. I thought we were playing a Raven team team. The jerseys and the stadiums kind of gave it away, but... Yeah, there's really no Raven on the field besides Derrick Henry, and that card ain't literally. Come on, man. Nobody, nobody switching to the Raven team for Derrick Henry's 99. I feel like the RG3, like, the, I don't know. I really don't understand why they did that to our guy, Johnny. Though I, I truly think you can use this card. Like I said, I know Gun Heavy Raven is one of the most famous uh, formations in the game right now where you could scramble like crazy. I just don't know if it's worth getting off a of, save your heavy scrambler right now. Who's probably the best quarterback? It's like probably like Lamar or Chad Powers, right? Because they still get trust and they still get the best release in the game. It's just so tough. Oh my car, Michael is insane. It's so tough going to generic one and you're still getting the similar abilities, right? And I'm spending 8 AP for the stack. All right, let's run a little bit crazy. We got Bazooka activated as well. I didn't even, I don't even know how we got that activated. I mean, I guess we had a couple good plays, but hey, maybe it might be bomb time. Hold on. I usually throw on Bazooka if there's no starting X-Factor because I feel like that's the easiest one to activate from its actual, like, achievements, I guess you could say, or whatever. But 
I don't know. We'll see. And it looks like he's just sprinting right with it. It ain't going to work. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it every single time. You guys already know the deal. And our guy, Johnny, come on, boys. It's just not as fun, dude. I, even in the RG3 gameplay we just did before, we had a very similar stack without running gun, but we were able to break all the tackles, which was awesome. To fully complete this card or just to convert him to a full scrambling quarterback, they should have just threw angry runs as an ability on him, honestly. If they want people to scramble with him, which they obviously do with the abilities they gave him, they should have just gave him angry runs. Honestly, at that rate, why not? And I think we're going to make a little lays. Okay, that release felt really good. I'll take that. I don't know why I'm calling a read option out a bunch. This literally never works. I have to hand it off every single time. Yeah, I, I think that literally is at a 99% fail rate. I, it never works. You know what I just remembered, though? We have run and gun, so we could kind of play like a madman. Hold on. If I have enough time here, we could double team this end and hopefully get to the outside, please. All we want to do is get to the outside and maybe make a crazy scramble. And you guys know with run and gun, it's a blue timing throw every single time. He was wide open regardless, but come on, man. We get to show off all the abilities. We've been scrambling. He has, I mean, honestly, if you are a rollout guy... I really think this card pretty... I mean, he, he's probably one of the better quarterbacks there because his release on the run isn't really bad. You can see how fast that got out. All right, boys. Don't ask how we got the score to 14-7 and seven and how we have the ball back so fast. But here we... Okay, 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 okay. This guy's on super conservative. Sadly, in the running quarterback gameplay, we can't run the ball. So, I guess we'll use running gun and just toss it. As you guys know, running gun is probably my favorite ability in the game. I think it makes the game... I, I wouldn't say it's the best ability, but it's very, very fun. It makes the game like you could do some crazy 360 no scopes in the back. But the problem is, is we got to get enough time and hopefully distract him enough to where he can make a crazy throw. And this is where running gun is beautiful because it is a blue timing throw no matter what. And we do have Yakum and boys. That is why I still use Mahomes. And that's why I like running gun guys like Johnny. It is fun. It's not better than Brady. No, it's not. It's not the best release in the game. But running gun makes Madden amazing. It makes it the best. It, you could do some crazy stuff. We just three. Look at this. Literally, look how we're throwing the ball. No quarterback. I don't even think Mahomes can do that in real life, what we just did right there. And right, let's hop on out of this game, man. Three touchdowns, a huge bomb. We've seen the legs a little bit at least. He kind of went at conservative after like three plays. But the run and gun feels really, really good so far. And I will say his release on the run is very, very good as well. Reinforcement. Come on, baby. Give me that knockout. So if you are looking just to switch it up and maybe try out the running gun, he is probably the best guy just to try it out with. I think he's the cheapest option. Maybe Johnny Manziel as well. But I will say for 350K and he came out an hour ago. Yeah, I mean, this is a cool card to try out. It's the first Johnny United's card of the year as well. I don't think it's bad trying on new cards. I don't know if you guys saw that. He had almost a touchdown there for a second. But he's trying out our user, which also had Carmichael behind him. Kind of a crazy read right there. I'm not going to lie to you. Is after 200 yards, three touchdowns, 71%. And I think we had like around 30 rushing yards, which isn't insane for a scrambling archetype quarterback. But he felt good, dude. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I wanted that gameplay thinking it was going to be miserable. Boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Johnny Yu, despite having probably the worst release in the game, he still felt good out there. He has a crazy ability stack as well, especially if you're willing to spend 8 AP like I did here today. I think he's fun to switch around with. If you're a Colts theme team, he's probably your best option right now. I can't think of any other Colt. Maybe Peyton. It's probably better than Peyton Manning with all these crazy abilities. But I don't know, boys. Let me know how you guys feel about him. Is he, is he even worth picking up with Gen 1? Let me know. And I hope to see you guys in the next video, which is the best car in every position video tomorrow. That should be fun. See y'all, boys.